Hey YouTube, this is your game Comic Center. Sorry that I've been away for a while, but yeah, I'm back and with an update for my bedroom slash comic book room. So we're gonna see some changes and it's almost a year now that I've lived in this apartment and already done some big changes. So yeah, let's take a look around and see what's new. See what's old. So yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, I bought some new bookshelves. So I had to buy a new bench for my TV. So I could set up a game station. There are my feet in the TV reflection there. And beneath there is my Xbox 360 to hand controls. And recently started playing. Assassin's Creed Rogue and then Anderson TV which is basically the same on the inside as a Philips TV and uh, yeah nothing much by the window and over here we, of course we have my shrine for Assassin's Creed and I actually moved my pop finals uh, up there, just because I can't fit them anywhere else now with a new bookshelf. But yeah, we have all the way from Altair down to Arno and Elise from Assassin's Creed Unity and all in between. So I am current on all the pop finals for Assassin's Creed. And then to the left, we have three currently released Hidden Blades gauntlets from the Assassin's Creed line. Uh, from right to left we have one from Unity, um, Black Flag and Brotherhood. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then going down we start on the line with Altair, the one statue that comes with the collector's edition for the very first Assassin's Creed game. Which I don't actually own, I bought this separately buying an Ezio statue, but yeah, re really glad to have the statue. And this one <laughs> is also Altair, but I think it's my favorite. Him hunching down over the clock tower there. Then we have Ezio Auditoria from Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, the variant, I guess you can say for that same statue, the one that came with Altair. And going down, Assassin's Creed 3 with Connor Kenway and then Black Flag with Blackbeard and Edward Kenway. And here we have Assassin's Creed Unity with Arno Dorian and Elise and beneath we have some artwork that I printed out from Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed 2, and Assassin's Creed. And beneath my computer area, which is nothing special at all, we have Batfleck on the background for now. Should sure has something with Assassin's Creed, but yeah, I, I choose what I want. And um, yeah, my desk, I guess beneath here are my artwork stuff. These ones are really good coloring pencils when it comes to the different shades and stuff when you're coloring your artwork. My bags and boards and tape for my comic books. And if we move these, we can see here it says previews, there are my previews guides, I ke currently keep free Marvel and free big previews at a time because that is what you're currently isn't released. And then we have some art books, let's see if we can get that out, yeah, get art books like 
how to draw manga and making anime. Some basics. Everybody can draw. And then there's this Spider-Man <laughs> encyclopedia, which I dropped in here. So, yeah. That's that for that shell. And beneath the desk area. Drawing books, more bigger books. And yeah, all the stuff that I need for my drawing basically. Nothing too much interesting there. And the, the bed area, it's uh, nothing too big. On it we have my two custom comic book pillows, thank you mother. And uh, on top of that my actual reading books from left to right we have Super Gods and uh, Marvel Comics The Untold Story by Sean Ho, The Hunger Games Trilogy, two Death Note novels, the one to the left, the Los Angeles BB murder cases one everybody should read whether they've seen the series or not the seven Harry Potter novels and then the seven Assassin's Creed novels that has been released so far when uh, uh, the eighth Assassin's Creed game has been released we will probably see another novel and uh, then to the big change I guess the new bookshelves. So yeah, I went ahead and bought some Billy bookcases along with some Oxtorp doors to go along with them. And when I changed the statues, I there's statues. <laughs> when I changed the bookshelf, I obviously had to take down the, the other shelf that was hung up on the wall that held all my statues so most of them are in storage now in the basement but I was able to keep some of them uh, over there you can see the Batarang the Justice Gods Among Us statue the Arkham City Collector's Edition Batman and uh, Spider-Man Bust Bank but uh, I could get all the other statues up there but at some point I'll have to store all my omnibus and absolute editions on top of these shelves because as you can see it's there's not much space left actually not now when I keep the absolutes down to the left at least but yeah I'll just pan over so you can see how the collection looks when it's all assembled together I guess so here we have the uh, Marvel stuff, the doors covering some of the stuff, but it's okay. So, two whole rows of just Spider-Man stuff. And almost empty shelf, but it has my High School of the Dead omnibus hardcovers. Then because I had to bump the shelf over uh, one row or something. I keep my pop vinyls here because I can't keep any books on this shelf because beneath are my absolute editions. And also Dark Horse Library editions. And in this shelf we have my independent comics Vertigo, Image, I'll make an update next year so you can see everything properly. I haven't even opened the doors yet, but the reason why I opened the doors is that so it won't just stand out as much as it did with the other bookshelves. Like the, it's more separated from the room this way, so it doesn't feel like too much. I don't know. It feels more decent. 
Yeah, I know I'm going backwards for some of the shelves here, like right now. But I just want to get everything with as soon as possible. And an empty shelf, only the Arkham Origins book. Oh, over here, I also have some storage for some of my Swedish comic books. My Elvis albums, sorry for the shakiness. And my Herman Trades, or Marvin Meathead, as I recently learned that he's called in America. And uh, beneath here we have some more of these boxes, just more of Marvin Meathead. This one's actually signed, and TV guides, movie magazines, this one's, yeah, this one's full of them. So, yeah, that's what I keep there. And the only area that's left to show, I guess, is my closet with comic books. And as you can see, over the closet, there are still hanging the very same comic books f that are framed. And those are as follows. The Walking Dead 100. Sieg Larsen's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Batman Black and White, dish number one. And dish number five. The Batman Detective Comics, issue one, uh, 880. The Blackest Night, issue number two. Superior Spider-Man, issue number two. And issue number 30. And Aquaman, issue number 12, Robot Chicken Variant. So yeah, just, um, we're gonna go ahead and move these. So, that's the practical part. I guess that it's having wheels at least. So you can move around. And here is the closet. And currently holding 10 short boxes of comics. And on the top of it, there's my PS4 box. So here we have my Marvin Mita comic books all the way from 1998 to 2013 but I actually started a subscription again so the only issues that I'm missing are from 2014 so I'll have to track those down it also keeps some the Digimon comics my Utvarhage comic books and Beyblade which actually has an, a letter printed in it that I sent in to the comic and just miscellaneous Swedish indie and free comic book day issues. And my DC boxes, you can see here. These I want to have more access to more frequently so I can just grab an issue. So that's DC1 holding most Batman titles, and DC2 holding all the rest. I've actually sold off a lot of issues because this box is completely empty and this Marvel Free includes all my web Spider-Man comics that I'm actually trying to get rid of because I need more space and I don't want to take up more than 10 short boxes currently because the most of the things that I want, I want collected in a bigger edition like a deluxe or omnibus. So yeah. I just keep the things that I really, really like, like Superior Spider-Man. Never gonna get rid of that. And here are most of the current run. Silk, amazing. Spider-Gwen, even better. And all the Spider-Verse kind of titles. And there's a video, of course, of how I organize my comics that I can put a link in the description for you so you can have a look around and that is basically how it looks right now I hope you enjoyed the tour sorry that I've been away for a while but 
I'll have some new videos coming up soon. And until then, thank you for watching, and see you in another video, guys. Bye-bye.